Well, three decades have passed since the disappearance and murder of 18-year-old Debbie Moberg. She had dreams of becoming a flight attendant. Convicted and jailed in the case, her stepfather, Ray Moberg. The admitted pedophile is serving a life sentence plus three 20-year sentences, but Moberg is now up for parole. Debbie's mother told our Jesse DeGoyado she's worried his good behavior in prison will get him released, and here's a clip from Jesse's story. 32 since Moberg was sentenced by a judge, not a jury. He pled guilty and is up for parole every four years. Had I known that that was going to happen, I would have said no, I wouldn't go for that kind of plea. In a headline back then, the admitted pedophile said if released, he might repeat the crime, telling a prosecutor, I worry about that too. Jesse joins us now for our reporter debrief on this. First of all, that's very disturbing, just the last clip we saw. He said he's scared he might do it again, and he's up for parole? Well, that's just it. Uh, because uh, apparently this was not a death penalty case, and back then, even if it had been a death penalty case, there was no mandatory life without parole back mm -hmm. then. So as a consequence, he's been up for parole every four years, or shall I say he was already denied parole mm -hmm. and then he's reviewed every four years and consistently denied. But again, his ex-wife, Janie Muniz, who I interviewed back then when all this was unfolding, uh, is worried because, because he was a former paramedic, because he is a former paramedic, that he's been working in the hospital infirmary. And so she's thinking that that'll count as good behavior. And even though he is 71, he could be released, she fears. So that's why she's very concerned and hoping the public will help her in writing and contacting the Board of Pardons and Paroles to ask that he not be released. So every four years they've had to relieve this, relive this nightmare from the, the late 80s. Jesse, what are the actual chances that he would, he would get out this time around? I would think doubtful because, uh, in fact, you'll see on our website there is a prior denial by the parole board and they outline very specifically why they would not at that time because of his pattern of, of violence, having murdered his stepdaughter and having not only those three sexual assault uh, involving children cases, uh, having been convicted, there were others. Uh, he was suspected in at least nine other cases. But the, the mother and other family members will be allowed the opportunity to present their case to the parole board. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, she's already written letters, and she has written letters every, every four years. And the second half of my story was with one of his victims, who was only three years old. Oh, my goodness. That's so disturbing. When she was abducted by him. Yeah. And all she can remember, it, it was an orange door. He, she thinks he took her to a motel or a hotel. She says- Three years old? Three years old. And uh, she does not believe she was sexually assaulted, but she did um, tell me that later on that they found photos of her that he had taken of her bathing. He's a disturbed uh. individual. And so what she is asking for is for everyone who's watching to write a letter and say deny 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 the texas board of pardons and paroles we have the information on our website where people can write or email granted either for or against mm -hmm. because there might be some people who would say no he he's been in there long enough he deserves to get out but again janie fears being a pedophile he will only repeat his actions as he said himself a pedophile who actually said he's afraid he would repeat it himself mm -hmm. that's to me one of the one of the most key points there the parole board does it change the people on it i mean it yes, be different yes, people that yes, evaluate. yes. And uh, it, it's not like they all sit down at one table and go over all the files. The files go to each board member separately and then they, they review each one. And oftentimes they contact the families. Janie has been in, in contact in the past with other parole board members. And so, yes. How much time until a decision is made? Well, the, the parole board is still unsure, but it could be in the next few months. In fact, it may be in the next two months. So they're asking asking that, <clears throat> again, that the public send their emails and letters as soon as possible, as does the victim, the victim herself. We have her letter of protest to the parole also on our website on KSAT.com. Has he said anything else about the crimes he committed? I asked if he would uh, grant me an interview, and he declined. Um, and, and the important so. thing, too, is it's easy, especially when this much time goes by, for people to forget. And that's why it's so important, the story that you're doing, and that we bring, up the, bring the awareness back in this situation. Especially when you stop and consider, sadly so, that it was a problem then, 
and it's a problem now. Yes. People like that are out there even now. Well, you hear about it so much more these days, but as you said during the break, they were around now and they were around then. Sadly so. Yes. All right. Jesse. Jesse, if you want to see her whole story, just go to ksat.com where you can see it and you can also find out where to send the letter. You did tell everyone, but yes. you can also see it on our website. Most Jesse, definitely. Thank you for coming Thanks. in. Thank you very Have much. Great Thank day. you. Let's take a peek outside with live.